Welcome, um, this is another Excel uh, M1 uh, past paper, this is the June 2015 uh, paper. This particular question is number four um, and what I've done is I've drawn the, uh, essentially as with all of these questions where there's a bit of information to know, I've um, drawn the, essentially the diagram um, that you get given with a few extra bits that I'll mention. Well, not extra bits, it's just um, the arrows really that I've drawn on. But anyway, gloss over that, I know now. Okay, so the first thing we're told is we're told there's a box in this lift, um, uh, which is uh, 55 kilograms. The mass of the lift itself is 200 kilograms. So obviously, therefore, the total mass is 255 kilograms. Uh, we're told it's uh, moving down with a constant uh, resistive force of um, 150 newtons, so it's obviously going up if it's being pulled down because, as we know, resistance forces are in the opposite direction to motion, but, you know, uh, you know that. And this box of 55 kilograms that's on the floor of the lift um, is experiencing a constant um, reaction force, so basically it's a force instead of, because if there's no reaction force pulling it up, then it'll go through the bottom of the lift, so the bottom of the lift is providing this force of 473 newtons up. And now obviously the force down is the weight, um, which is uh, obviously mg, so mass times acceleration due to gravity, or uh, as, our phys as we physicists call it, gravitational field strength, which is 9.8, but really it's 9.8105, whatever um, the other numbers are. Um, but as I say, that's for a physics video to show you how to work that out. Okay. Um, Right, so it says work out the acceleration of the lift. Now there's a key, there's actually, don't need all this information. All you need to focus on is this 55 kilogram box. Now many of you will go, ah, well there's a constant force of 150 newtons pulling it up. So I'll just work out the force on the lift, um, uh, use the total mass of the 55 kilograms, the 200 kilograms, and work that, because obviously it's being pulled down, so the force down is greater than the force up. Uh, so we'll do 255 times 9.8, take away these 150 newtons to give us uh, the force, and then we'll use that to work acceleration. Well, you don't need to, because you'll get that wrong. Um, they wouldn't have told you. Now, you've got to think, okay, well, why have they told me this constant force upwards from this 55 kilogram box? Well, they, what they want you to do is focus on this 55 kilogram box alone. Now, I could draw the forces left and right of this, but... I just draw arrows. They wouldn't represent anything because there'd be no force. There's no force pulling it right. There's no force. I mean, overall pulling it right or left. There are forces pulling it right or left, um, but due to the rotation of the Earth, etc., etc. Uh, but for what we're concerned, there's no forces. So it's only the force up, reaction force, which we're told 473 newtons, and the force down, which we know W equals mg, uh, 55 times 9.8. Now, what? Obviously, what links force, which we can work out, um, the mass, which we know. So I'm going to focus on the 55 kilogram box. So obviously the mass F is 55 kilograms, and we want the acceleration. There's nothing else we can work out. We can't work out the time. We can't work out the distance. So there's no CVAT equations involved. So the most obvious one, the only one, is F equals MA. Now, as I said, it's key to focus just on this 55 kilogram box. So I'm going to anyway. Now the force, we know it's been moved down at constant velocity, so obviously we're going to be taking 55 kilograms times 9.8 away from the 473 newtons, otherwise we're going to end up with a negative force. Now you could do that, okay, well, you know, maybe you could just turn that negative, but really, your mechanics students, you should understand um, that if it's moving down, then the force pulling it down must be greater. So it's 55 kilograms, so 55 times 9.81, or 9.8, sorry, take away the 473 newtons, equals the mass, which is 55 kilograms, times acceleration, which I'm just going to label A. Um, so therefore, if you do 55 kilograms uh, times 9.8 in your calculator, you should get 539 newtons, and that, obviously, take away from 473 newtons, and that is equal to 55 kilograms times acceleration, um, now it's not acceleration due to gravity um, because we don't know what the acceleration of this lift is because if, if it, it would be A if the, it was perfectly 
Um, if there was no loss to friction, so there'd be no resistance forces, A would be 9.8. But because it isn't um, perfect, then we are considering resistance forces, so therefore A is not going to be 9.8. Okay, so that's why it's not that, uh, if you're wondering. Okay, so that is equal to 55 kilograms times acceleration due to gravity. So you rearrange it by dividing both sides by 55 kilograms. Okay, and that gives you the acceleration, and you should get the acceleration is equal to 1.2 meters per second squared. Okay? Don't forget the units as well, that's key. Okay, so uh, the next question says, so that's how you work out the, so really that part, you've just, you could have done it focusing on the whole lift, I suppose, um, but you would have gone into a bit of a mess. In terms of, if you were going to focus on the whole lift, you would ignore this 55 kilogram box, but then again, why would they tell you um, that if they actually know, you won't be able to do it using the lift, you'd have to focus on that, sorry, confusing you. Um, right, so, the next question says, um, find the magnitude of the force exerted on the lift by the cable. Right, um, magnitude of the force, so we need to uh, sort of work out what are all the forces acting on this, um, Point. Okay, so if we ignore all the working, what I'm going to do is draw another box here um, that's going to represent this lift, and you'll see a little box inside to represent 55 kilograms. Now, what we've got here is 200 times 9.8, so that's the mass or the weight of the lift, so 200 times 9.8, and we've obviously got the weight of the box pulling it down as well, which is 55 kilograms times 9.8. Agreeably, you could just do 255 times 9.8, but we need to break it down to show the examiner uh, where we're getting these individual numbers from. Now, we're told there's a constant resistive force of 150 newtons pulling it up, in a sense, so obviously that 150 newtons, we could, you don't have to credit that to anything, just put arrow up 150 newtons. And obviously the other force is in the cable, because this, this cable will have some force in it, because otherwise if there's no force in this cable, Yes, there'd be a resistive force pulling it up, but it'd be get out, going a hell of a lot faster. Because um, you're saying, if, if you say there's no there's no force in this tension, in this cable pulling it up, then what the hell is the cable doing there? Um, so obviously, uh, we've got this other force pulling it upwards, T. Now, um, there is a whole thing in uh, mechanic and in physics where you go T is equal to mg plus ma. And whether that's bigger than MA, so basically whether at MA the acceleration is positive or not, and um, that depends on if uh, the ten if the uh, movement. So as I said, the, whether the acceleration is positive or not. So this equation, if you're doing AS physics, um, then that equation is really relevant. But I uh, don't get confused, even though I've just I've probably made you confused. You just ignore that if you're just mechanics. So just focus on this. So it's just 255 times 9.8 is equal to T plus. 150 newtons um, Sorry, it's not equal, sorry um, Sorry, right So that, that'd be what T is, but sorry, I'm not really not organised myself here, so Right, so that'd be what's, now, we know it's moving, sorry, uh, this is why I completely mucked this up, um, so I do apologise. I, I was kind of, I, I wrote a little bit of the question up here and I, I was getting a little bit in my head, going, you know, okay. Well, you need to remember this um, lift is moving down at a constant velocity. Now the reason I, you couldn't say 255 times 9 point is equal to T plus 150 as I, I said, is because if that was the case, then you think, okay, well, the force is up equal, the force is down, so therefore it can't be moving, it's in equilibrium. What the hell are you going on about, Will? Well, good question. I, I didn't know what I was going on about, so please ignore me. Um, now, if they aren't equal, then obviously one's going to be bigger than the other. Now, the magnitude of the force that is exerted on the lift, so we're not looking at the tension, even though that's kind of what I said. We've worked out the acceleration here, so you need to think, okay, well, we've worked out the acceleration. We know the total mass, obviously, and we're working out the force. So, obviously, the force equals mass times acceleration. So, kind of what we did here, but for the whole concept of it. That's why, if you were trying to do this, um, to work out the 
the force, the acceleration, sorry, in the first part of the question, you couldn't do it because you didn't know what T was. So that's why you couldn't have done it for part A. Okay, so it's a bit background where you can't, where you had to focus on the box for part A. So as I said, F equals MA. Now F is obviously the resulting force that's going to be pulled down. So this 255 times 9.8 or 200 uh, times 9.8 plus uh, 55 times 9.8. But I'm just going to show it because uh, let's face it, I'm lazy. So 255 times 9.8. Take 150 newtons plus T. Okay, and that's equal to the mass, which is 255 kilograms, times acceleration, which we know from the previous part is 1.2. Okay, so it's just a case now of uh, simplifying that down. Uh, so that becomes uh, 2,349 newtons. Sorry, that's in, that's simplifying it. Uh, take T is equal to 255 times 1.2. Uh, which gets you 306, so therefore T is equal to 2,349 newtons, take 306 newtons, uh, so therefore T is equal to uh, 2,043 newtons, okay? So, a lot of information I've just thrown at you. Um, okay, so... Key point pointed out by me, uh, not on purpose, but just because I'm a bit thick. Um, you need to read the question properly. And so it's a magnitude of the force exerted on the lift by the cable. Now, it's not asking to work out what T is, although you do have to do that in the process. Uh, a key thing for this question is to remember, um, generally, uh, questions in mechanics and physics are, um, and maths, actually, for that matter, which is kind of the same thing as physics, but anyway. Um, they're all synaptic, so part A generally leads to part B. So they wouldn't have just randomly asked you to work out the acceleration without, uh, in the same question, out, without asking you to use that in some other form. And the magnitude of the force, well, it's obviously telling you the force of some kind of resultant force, and we know that it just worked out the acceleration, so you should have thought F equals MA to be able to work out T. Um, so you are asked to work out T. Well, I keep contradicting myself. You are asked to work out T. Um, but you can't just say the force up is equal to the force down, as I did say previously. Um, so I feel you're quite confused. Um, okay, so try and explain that again. So we know that the lift is moving down at a constant, oh. moving down, not at a constant velocity. So there's obviously a bigger force pulling it down than pulling it up. Um, so therefore, we can't say 255 times 9.8 or 200 times 9.8 plus. So the mass of the lift plus the, uh, sorry, the weight of the lift plus the weight of the block is equal to the two the forces pulling it up because otherwise it'd be constant velocity or stationary, um, and we know the acceleration is one point two meters per second, so um, we have to use F equals m a to be able to work out t. Okay, the resultant force being the force down take away the force up because it's moving down, so the force down must be greater. Otherwise, you'd end up with a negative force, which you would just turn positive anyway, because you should know you can't have a negative force. You can have negative G, but that's not a negative force. Okay, um, well, you, technically, anyway, I'll shut up. So, if you want me to have another go at that question, I'm more than welcome to. Um, you, I'm more than happy to, sorry. I'm welcome, why are you now? Um, because I do feel I've messed it up a little bit. But, as I said, I've tried to uh, go over it again. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next question.